Today we're going to talk about the Xmark 21 X series guys. This has become a very popular mower with our commercial landscapers over the last couple of years or the last couple of years, last 10 years. Uh, we sell Honda and Xmark and I think ultimately they both have a spot. I think they both are really incredible mowers. But there's a segment of our commercial guys who, who really love this machine. So I'm going to point out kind of why they like this machine, what sets the Xmark apart from its competition, kind of what makes it unique. When Xmark set out building this 10 years ago or so, yeah, it would have been around there, they looked to really simplify things, to really get rid of a lot of nuts and bolts and clips and all this sort of stuff and just make it a, a simple mower with less moving parts, with less to go wrong. Uh, and make therefore failures less and then cheaper and quicker and easier to repair. So even just getting into the handle, we don't have a throttle coming up here. Um, getting down into the transmission, it's a pretty no frills transmission. In fact, it's low enough price that a lot of times if it fails, guys just throw one in and, and keep moving on with it. So quickly, let's take a look. This is kind of cool. I like these front end height adjusters. It's solid, it's rugged, there's, there's nothing to go wrong with them in comparison with the, the lever arms that most mowers would have. It's a little bit of a hassle until you understand how it works. So you're gonna come around to the front. We've got this bar on the front, rested on my knee, and there's this little lever right here that I pull up, and I can drop the wheel in one of what, uh, eight holes to, to adjust my height. And that's on both sides of the front. So drop it in, simple. As a commercial operator, a lot of times you're not moving height all that often, right? You've kind of got a lot of your lawns set to one height of cut. That's maybe moved seasonally, but simple to do when the time comes. On the X-Series 21, we've got a front bumper here, protect the mower deck. It's rattling around with the trailer. You guys are hitting uh, pavers or whatever. They're just, they're banging into stuff. We've also got this front wire bumper that protects the overhead valve cover here. Common problem on commercial mowers, they're on trailers. Okay, they're supposed to get tied up, but you know you guys get a little sloppy, a little lazy sometimes, and bang, right into the back of your ZTR, and dents the valve cover, and they get to the next job, and it won't start. So, we've got an FJ180V Kai engine on here. This is Kawasaki's uh, commercial grade FJ180V. It's got the canister air filter, easy on and off. It's got the, the better starter mechanism, a little more robust little starter mechanism. It's got a larger fuel tank. This has, a, I think it's a one gallon fuel tank. So it'll run for hours and hours and hours. That's gonna enhance and increase your productivity. I talked about no throttle, kind of up on this handle. It's right down here. They actually put it right down by the engine. That, that just gets rid of that cable coming up here. It gets rid of that throttle lever up here that's gonna get hit on stuff and broken off. Um, it's got an oil filter. It's going to extend the runtime or the maintenance time, not necessarily the runtime, but I don't need to change the oil every week or every two weeks. I, I might be able to do it monthly, right? Every 75 to 100 hours. Solid handles, bolted here solid, bolted here solid, so it really gets rid of any of the play that we could have, especially if I had that front wheel on the same height, you wouldn't see it, but it gets rid of that sloppy, loose handle. And as a, as a commercial operator, we know, right, that. That trailering, that up and down, that always loading, that just starts to wear on all these pivoting and moving points. So how do we reduce those pivot moving points? The rear height, pretty nice. There's a little hook right here. Up, and I can move the wheels whoop, up and down. One hand, very simply. Both sides go at the same time. Nice, big, fat, nine inch wheels, a little wider than most mowers. It's gonna reduce my uh, ground imprint. Simple to adjust drive cable. Okay, how does this drive work? That's this back lever here, this back bar. The further I squeeze, the faster it goes, okay? So I'm going zero, squeeze it faster, 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 faster. As this cable stretches, as the belt that drives it wears, very simple to adjust this cable and get back to performing how it should perform. Hey, I wanna point out one thing. We talked about not tying them up in the trailer. The other area that gets abused when they're not tied up, we talked about that overhead valve, that front of the engine. The other area that gets abused is this lever, this bar right here. This sucker rolls back, hits the trailer gate, and it'll bend this lever down. Suddenly it's a big, huge grip to squeeze this trigger. And they've designed this where it's a pretty short throw. Just simple. This lever here, push down tab, blades on, blades off. 
Blades on, blades off. Big door, nice seal around it. Got, got a good tight seal. Clamps tight, so it reduces the amount of dust and debris that's going to come up through that door. Really holds it in place if you're going over a rough lawn to prevent it from jumping off, bouncing off. And then, I don't think this bag's been off this thing. It's got a mulch plug in here. Here's what guys are liking about this Xmark mower, guys, is the bagging performance. This is why they like the Xmark. It's simple to use. There's not a lot of levers and bells and whistles. But the bagging performance of this mower deck compared to really anything else out there is what makes it stand apart. It's a high, deep dome. It's got a lot of room. And then it gets deeper as you move around towards that discharge. So this mower has incredible vacuum. It's actually going to suck stuff up off the ground. It's going to bag better than any other 21-inch commercial mower that's out there. It's got a wear strip on the side. This is an aluminum deck. Uh, it's strong. It's durable. But we're going to be riding up against curbs. So we got these wear guards on the left and right side. So we're not going to wear the deck out. We wear this metal strip out. We can throw a new one on. I talked a little bit about the transmission. Very simple to change, very, very simple design. I think it can be in and out of the mower in less than an hour. Um, so downtime on this is gonna be reduced on an application like that. So there's a quick overview of the Xmark 21 inch X-Series mower featuring the Kawasaki FJ180V with its oil filter, huge fuel tank. I like the height of cut adjusters. I love how solid everything is, it's just, it's. It's rugged, it's made for trailing, it's made for commercial use. They've minimized some of those things that are moving parts that are gonna go bad. Height adjusters were good, and really the bagging performance is where this mower is gonna stand out compared to its competition. Check out the Xmark mowers, whether it's a 21, a 36, a stand-on, a laser, at Carl's Mower and Saw. We've been selling Xmark since 1991. We know this stuff, we love this red mower. Check them out at Carl's Mower and Saw. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.